close the year. How are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, today we have many things to do. Tenemos un tópico muy, muy, muy importante. Sí. Uh, um, report your speech. Yes. Así que a prestar mucha atención en la clase de hoy. Ok. Well, so we are going to. Bye bye, unit 10. Hello, unit 11. We are going to work on pages 190, 129, 131, 32, 33. As homework, we are going to do activity book pages 85, 86, 87, only exercises 3 and 4. We are going to write a message to put in a bottle in the sea. Include info about, information about why you are writing the message. Okay? 30 palabras nada más. Okay? Good. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 okay, good, so pay attention now, también tenemos un tema muy importante que es reported speech, yes, okay, primero voy a presentar y después todo lo que está acá en la pizarra, los cambios en tiempos verbales, si ¿sí? te puse lo más importante, los cambios de visa, todo, 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 te voy a hacer en statements, en frases normales, en sentences y uh, en question también, en yes no question y en wh question, ok, is it clear? Good. Right. Well, so pay attention now. Uh, shall we go to the unit? Well, so I have prepared something. Yes, okay. I want you to go to page 129. I says the hat in the photo is about 100 years old. Where do you think it is? And what do you think Captain Scott did? Yes, okay. Where do you think it is? It says Captain Scott had was left with its contents in 1917 and only found again in 1956. Oh my God, it's a hundred years, this hat, cabaña, yes, like pizza hat, yes, okay, was, uh, is uh, 100 years old, okay, it's amazing, and where do you think it is? Yes? Where? Where do you think it is? Okay, I tell you. In the middle of, I don't know, a place, yes, in Africa, in North America, in, where, where? In South America, where do you think it is? Yes, okay? So, it says, listen, and we are going to listen now, listen to, uh, the, to a historian, Yes, talking about the hat and check your ideas, okay? Uh, and then answer the question, yes? And then we are going to, um, I'm going to show you a time capsule, yes, I have prepared with uh, the objects I think I'm going to bury, bury, yes, and there are very underground, under the ground, yes, okay? Uh, and you are going to say if you agree with me or if you don't agree, with the uh, objects I have put in the box, yes, that I'm going to um, bury under the ground and it's going to be a capsule, yes, uh, a time capsule, yes, okay. So why I'm going to be that? Because uh, this capsule could be very useful for um, people who study history. So they will know many things about our culture, yes, because of the things, yes, I put in that box. This box could be a capsule, yes. In a few minutes you will see it. But first of all, we are going to go to the listen, listening to know where this hat is, yes. Okay, we know that it is very old, okay. Exercise two. Track 86, unit 11 opener. Just over 100 years ago, The British explorer, Captain Robert Falcon Scott, died with his team of men in the snow and ice of Antarctica. 
Antarctica. He had reached the South Pole, but never returned. So we, uh, we know that it is Antarctica and it's the South Pole. Yes. Okay. Turned to this hut, which the South Pole, but never returned to this hut, which was the starting point for his expedition. Okay, so it was this hut was the starting point of an expedition. And uh, it was the expedition of Captain St uh, Scott and his group. Yes, they went out, they went on an expedition, and they never returned. Yes, okay. He had reached the South Pole, but never returned to this hut, which was the starting point for his expedition. Now the hut is falling down under the snow, and we would like to save it. Not just because of its connection to Scott, though this, of course, is important. Actually, we are more interested in what you find inside the hut. Because of the freezing temperatures in this part of the world, the hut has become a time capsule. There are items of food, such as butter, biscuits and tins of meat, which are 100 years old. The ice has preserved them all. There are even some of Scott's old possessions and equipment, and things like soap and medicine bottles. When you go inside the hut, it's almost as if he has only just left it. I think we need to look after it, because it tells us so much about Scott, but also about our own past. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Did you notice? Did you listen? But first of all, before commenting this, I want you to highlight all the words there. A clock, a copy of today's newspaper, drawing, a menu from a restaurant, money, a popular novel, a tin, a tin of food. Yes, okay, good. Well, so number two, food. Yes, what objects? Yes, and did you listen that the objects were preserved because of the ice and they left, but it was everything there. It was preserved. Yes, okay. So, one, food, butter, biscuits, tin of meat, equipment, soap, no soup, soap, come on. Yes, medicine bottles. Two, it tells us a lot about Scott but also about our past, yes? A place that has not changed for a long time with lots of things that remained intact, yes? That can tell us about the time in the past, yes? Okay, so I'm going to show you my uh, capsule, yes? Okay, this is the box. I'm going to bury, yes? I have something here that I wanted to put here. I the same, yes, okay, yes, okay, so these are the things, this is my time capsule, yes, this is the box I'm going to bury, yes, or the things I'm going to bury, yes, and in many years, yes, in many years, um, it could be, it's going to be useful for people who study our history, because they will know many things about us. So, I will take the book, yes, a book, yes, in this case, yes, when they open it, when they find it, yes, they will know, yes, what we are reading, yes, about our language, yes, how we communicate it, what things we were interested in, a book. I would take some spaghetti, yes, so that they can know what we ate, yes. Okay, I can't tell, I can't put everything because it was, five, there were five things only, but I put a bit more. Tea, so they can know what we drink, what we drank, yes. Yes, some toys, yes, so that they can know, yes, 
what things we use to play. A telephone, yes, so that they can know how we communicate it. A cassette, this is another way, yes, and they will know that here, yes, there was information, yes, okay, if you, they can listen to it. A coin, money, so that, that they know, they can know about our money, yes, and a pen drive with information, yes, very important information about how we lived, yes, okay, the things we do, videos, okay, uh, people talking, uh, uh, meetings, photos, yes, okay, about uh, in this way they will know how we communicate it, yes, okay, so I want you to think about it, yes, because in the three minutes video, in the next three minutes video, or when we uh, meet again, you are going to tell me, you are going to show me uh, in, your, in your box, yes, what things could you take in your time capsule, yes, okay. Imagine many years later, yes, some people who study from history, yes, will open it, yes, yes, because it will be buried, buried, yes, okay, so they will open it and they will see how we lived how we communicate it okay is it clear right so let's go again let's go again to the book yes be prepared this is very very interesting yes okay well okay you have to prepare your capsule at home yes okay uh, we're going to uh, if we were in class it could be excellent because we could talk about that, but don't worry. We're going to do something. Yes, okay? Well, um, shall we go now to uh, the explanation there on page 130? Yes, I'm going to show you something. Yes, okay? Wait a minute. Yes, yes. Wait a minute. I'm looking for the picture I have to project. The folder is there. Yes, there we are. Okay, so what do you know about the history of games? Yes. So we are going to talk about video games. Yes, now. And you're going to tell me if you agree or not, because this is a timeline of video games. Yes. Okay. I can't erase this, but you can uh, look at the same picture. I'm going to project. It's there. Yes. It is in your folder, in your notebook. Okay. Good. It is this one. Yes, okay, this one. Okay, it says, uh, what can you see in the photo? Yes, these are, um, what can you see in the photo? When do you think it was taken? How many differences can you think of between the game in the photo and the modern video games? Yes, okay. So, these are video games. Yes. Well, so you can see uh, two people there, yes, a mother and a son, yes, okay, and what are they doing? Yes, they are playing an old-fashioned video game, yeah, video game. You can see a TV screen and a handset device, yes, okay, when was it? 
It was in the 70s, in 1970. Yes, okay? And it says, uh, this first video game appeared in the 50s and 60s, but the first really successful game was Pong, which came out in 1972. People said that they have never see any, seen anything like it before. It was one of the first home video games that you play against, that you play against another people, another person, yes? And you, you can win points, yes? Okay, and it was amazing, yes? Okay, and then it is uh, black and white, two-dimensional, has simple line graphics, yes? Nowadays, uh, uh, video games are, oh my God, the graphics are very, very uh, real, yes, okay. Um, they are connected to a handset by a lead, yes, and it's used on a TV, not a computer, yes, okay. All right, what was the question? How many differences you can find between the game in the photo and the modern, uh, modern. well, many differences, yes, okay. You have a joystick, yes, you can use a joystick. The graphics are very, 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 very nice, very real, yes. It's like you are, it's like you are, yes, in the game, yes, okay. And you have many games, you have many games, yes, yes. You have a joystick and you know, this device was very different from the one that we use now, yes? So this is very modern, yes? And it's wireless, yes? And it was this one, another difference was that it, it was connected uh, with cables, to cables, and this is wireless, yeah? Okay, you can use your, ear, uh, your earphones also, yes? So, of course, game, yes, games have, video games have changed a lot. Yes, okay, good. Well, um, number two, can we go to number two? It says, read the timeline of gaming, answer the question, which video game does it mention? Yes, do you remember or know about any, any of the games? Does anyone still play this game today? When in the 80s, yes, okay, when people remember playing video games in the late 70s and early 80s, yes, they often think of Space Invaders, and this was a very, very famous one, yes? That's because everyone was taking, talking about it, yes, at the time. People all, of all the ages love it a lot, yes, okay? So, Pong, number one, Space inv inv Invaders, Tetris, yes, and we, yes? Tenemos diferentes acá, yes, después bueno, okay? El Tetrix, que es este. Yes, okay, Invaders, over there. Pong, this one. Yes, ask your parents. Pregunten a los papás, a un tío. Yes, okay. And at the beginning of the 21st century, everything changed because Nintendo appeared. Yes, Nintendo and PlayStation, can be. Yes, okay. With, uh, we're working on a type of gaming device and that would produce games for the whole family to play. Yes, okay. The device was called Wii. Yes, and unlike other video games, well, you have the Wii, but uh, some gamers love the Wii and other gamers love the PlayStation, yes, okay? But these are very, very, very uh, modern consoles, yes, okay? Uh, the games were active and you could do exercise in the living room, yes, of your house. The Wii became popular with a new group of people, yes, the over 50s, yes, okay. So that is a very interesting um, topic, yes. Um, I think you'd like to talk about that, yes, okay. Um, do you think these people these old style games are still played? Yes, I think yes. 
they are played by people who are very nostalgic, yes, okay, nostalgic, yeah, because they miss their times, they miss their 80s, the 80s, the 70s, so they continue playing this, okay, these games, okay, they were amazing, yes, okay, well, so, um, let's go to exercise three, yes, true or false, it says, number one, true, number two, true, Number three, false. Number four, false. Number five, false. Uh, number five, true. Number six, true. Yes, exercise four. Okay, you have to complete with. Atención ahí a al word building. You know, you have play with. Yes, do you play with your friends? You, um, in this, uh, you have to fight against invaders. Fight against, yes, play against another person, yes, and you played for, you can play for a team, yes, okay, or play in teams. Entonces, atención ahí a ese word building de ver más preposición, okay, porque te puede aparecer play with, play for, play against, and play in, yes, you have to, we are going to play in teams, team A and team B. Team, team B, yeah? You are going um, to play, you, Benicio, are going to play for uh, Team B, and you, Guillermina, are going to play for um, Team A, yes? Okay, is it clear? We are going to play in teams, you are going to be, you are going to play for A, and you are going to play for B. I'm giving examples, okay? Pay attention. Now, I want you to pause the video, complete exercise four, and then listen to the answers. Number one, with. Number two, about. Talk about. Number three, for. You know, pay for. Yes? Did you pay for the school? Yes? Okay. Number four, spend on. Do you spend much money on video games? Spend on. Yes? Okay. Uh, 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 take with you, yes? What do you, do you take money with you? Take with, okay? And six, agree with, okay? Alguna de ellas ya las conocemos, okay? Is it clear? Ya las conoces. Bueno, ahora, de la página 131, primero voy a explicar el tema, el tópico, report to speech. Es un tema muy importante, así que prestar atención, yes? Okay? Um... Van a ser después el ejercicio 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, mark and long. Yes, ok. Porque para hacer talking, yes, ok, que yo lo voy a hacer ahora. Ok, what sort of games do you play? Do you play computer games? Do you play console games? Do you play board games? Table games, ok. Uh, board games se dice a los juegos de mesa, eh. Ok, do you often play any of these games? What type of games do you prefer? Will people play board games in the future or will they only play computer games? I love playing board games. Yes, I really have um, a good time. I like uh, playing uh, against another person. Yes, because I am very competitive. My only problem is that I don't want to um, lose. Yes. But I know how to control this emotion. Yes, I like playing in teams. Yes, because I, I don't like playing alone. Because I, I think playing in teams um, is better because you can share the moments with the people that is in, uh, with people that are in your room, in your group. Okay, is it clear? Well, so, um, I like console games. I used to play, uh, there was one I used to play and I really liked it. But I got very stressed because um, it was The Sims, yes, because I have to uh, be uh, a girl, yes, and sometimes she gets depressed, she didn't want to have a wash, so I have to prepare her for going to work, but sometimes she uh, wanted to sleep, and then the house was in, in a disorder, very untidy, she had to go to the city center, she had to make, she has to make friends, and it was very, very entertaining, entertaining. I want to play it again, but 
the thing is that I don't have problems. So the, I don't have time now. But when I have time, now I play board games. Yes, okay. I like them. Well, so uh, pay attention now. Yes, okay. Well, aquí tenemos la voz pasiva. Y vamos a. Um, we are going to do like this. Primero vamos a hacer con commands. Yes, quiero que tengas tu cuadernito a mano. Yes, y que escribas dos commands, que son commands, órdenes. Eh, una positiva y una negativa. Por ejemplo, open the door. Yes, close the door. Sit down, stand up. Yes, y otra que sea, don't sit down, don't stand up, don't open the door. Yes, is it clear? Well. So, ¿qué voy a hacer? ¿Para qué uso el report speech? Para decir lo que la otra persona. Ella me dijo que, y es para reportar lo que me dijo otra persona. Ella me dijo que tal. La teacher Ruth dijo que se iría de vacaciones. ¿sí? La teacher me ordenó que me ponga de pie. ¿Y es ¿Is it clear? Bueno, para eso usamos indirect speech. Uh, report speech. ¿Yes? Indirect. Indirect speech. Ok, commands. Este, esto te mando también. Open the door, y te puse un ejemplo, the teacher told me to open the door. The teacher ordered me, ese reported verb, yes, ese told, puede cambiar, puede decir, ella me dijo, me ordenó, me suplicó, me recomendó, pero yo te estoy poniendo ejemplos ahora, vamos a empezar con, lo, con told y con say, con eso me conformo. ¿Cuándo voy a usar told? Cuando yo voy a decir a quién le dije algo. She told me, ella me dijo, I told you, I told him, I told her, I told them. Yes, ok. Esta le dije a él, a ella, a ellos. ¿Sí? Ahí vamos a usar told. ¿Está? Yes, ok. ¿Y cuándo vamos a usar? Eh, bueno, tenemos con otra orden, por ejemplo. Acá te puse con otro report. Re, eh, reported verb. Yes. Don't shout. Don't shout. No griten. The teacher asked a quien? The students. Not to shout. Y le pones el otro. Que no griten. Not to shout. Don't open the door. The teacher told me not to open the door. Is it clear? Vamos aquí. Frases. I go to school every day. ¿Qué vamos a detectar primero? ¿En qué tiempo está? What tense. Yes, ok. What tense the sentence is. In what tense the sentence is. I go to school every day. Está en presente simple. Muy bien. La voy a pasar a report speech. She said, cualquiera. Ella dijo, él dijo. That she went to school. Lo que está en presente pasa a pasado. Entonces, ¿se dan cuenta por qué hace muchos años cuando comenzamos yo les dije que los tiempos verbales eran la base de todo, el pilar de todo. ¿Por qué? Porque se usa para todo, y acá, para todo, ¿sí? para todas las gramáticas, ¿sí? es la base. En esta gramática súper utilizamos, porque si un chico no sabe detectar un presente simple, no sabe armar un pasado, no sabe la columna, la tercera columna, el pasado participio, para armar un presente perfecto, un pasado perfecto, se va a súper perder. Y no es que no va a entender la gramática, sino que no la puede armar porque no maneja los contenidos. ¿Se entiende? Yes, ok. La teacher me dijo que, yes, se fue a la escuela, eh, que iba a la escuela todos los días. My dad will, acá estamos en futuro, future, yes, entonces ese future will va a pasar a will, yes. ¿Ok? ¿Es el clear? Esto borra si no te mezcla porque esto pertenece a el cuadrito, cuadrito, pero chico la teacher. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? My dad will go to Miami tomorrow. Entonces acá, atención, porque no solo va a cambiar el tiempo, sino la palabra tomorrow también, el adverbio en este caso. Mi amigo, my friend told me, me dijo, that... His dad, que su papá, iría a Miami. Y would, will, cambia a would. Y tomorrow pasa a the next day. ¿Está? Vamos a otra. 
I finished my homework last night. Tenemos una frase en pasado. El cuadro nos dice que de pasado va a pasar a pasado perfecto. The boy, el chico, te puse O. The boy said that he had finished his homework the night before. Porque last night cambia a the night before. ¿Sí? El chico dijo que él había terminado su tarea la noche anterior. ¿Ok? Y te puse todos los cambios. De presente, pasa a pasado. De pasado, de, de past perfect. De present continuous a past continuous. Will, good. Present perfect, past perfect. This, that. Yesterday, the day before. Last night, the previous night. Now, then. The next day, the following day. Yes, ok. Bueno, después tenemos en preguntas. Si yo te digo, do you like coffee? The teacher asked me, the teacher asked me if I liked coffee. ¿Está? Yo te hice una pregunta en presente, entonces el cambio va a ser a pasado. La teacher me preguntó si me gustaba el café. Yes, ok. Uh, will you study French? Will, sabemos que pasa a would. The teacher asked me if I would study French. ¿Está claro? Te doy otra en pasado. I visited uh, my friend last night. The teacher said that she uh, had, porque de pasado, una oración en pasado, pasa a pasado perfecto. She had visited uh, her friend the previous night. Entonces, hay dos cosas que te tenés que saber. Los cambios que hace a uno de estudiar de memoria y los cambios que hay en los adverbios, por ejemplo. Yesterday. Yes. The teacher said that she had visited her friend the day before. ¿Está? Entonces, eso es reported speech. Quiero que te estudies el cuadro, quiero que te leas las frases. Yes. Vamos a hacer a una hora con doble de question. Entonces, cuando tenemos una yes no question, decimos if. Ahora. Cuando tenemos una, where do you live? The teacher asked me where I lived. Te pregunté en presente, va a pasar a pasado, ¿dónde vivía? Where will you live? The teacher asked me, or the teacher asked his friend, her friend, where he would live. Yo le pregunté a él, ¿dónde viviría? Yes, ok. Entonces vos podés ir cambiando. A ver, vamos a hacer otra que... Eh, le voy a preguntar a mi mamá. Yes. Um, si saldrá. Will you go out? The teacher asked her mother if she would go out. La teacher le preguntó a su mamá si ella saldría. Yes. Ok. Y si escribía. Bueno, esto es report speech. A direct speech. Entonces que te quede claro que cuando decís, cuando quieres decir él le dijo a ella, voy a usar el, el report verb tell. She told me, she told her, I told him. Ahora, cuando yo quiero decir, ella dijo que, voy a usar el reported verb said. Vamos a probar ahora, por favor, a los ejercicios 8. Yes, exercises 8. Yes, ok. Are you ready? Pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Ok. 1. Lot. 2. Y después tenés esta. She said that she wanted the new clock. She said, I want. Tenés, a ver, si yo te doy una que está en report speech, I want it again. ¿Cómo me ponen la frase normal que dije yo? I want again. Yes, ok. Quiero un juego. The teacher said that she wanted again. Porque también tenés que hacer a la inversa. ¿Sí? Directo, tenés el directo y directo. Ok. Quiero ese juego, entre comillas. I want again. Y siempre la que están en estilo directo están entre comillas. I want again. The teacher said that she wanted the game. Ahora, si yo te doy la que está en el estilo indirecto, she wanted the game, para que vos me pases, a ver, estaba en pasado, la frase normal estaba en presente. I want the game. The teacher said. Yes, is it clear? Good. Uh, are playing. Four. Were planning. Five. Have gone. Have 
have bought. Will play, would change. Would change, sorry. Let's listen to uh, a short conversation between Jack and Sonia. Write down what they say. Tienes que escribir lo que dicen, okay? Is it clear? Right. Track 88, Unit 11A. I need the TV for my game. I need a TV for my game. This is number one. I'm watching a really interesting program. I'm watching a really interesting program. But I want to get to the next level. I want to get to the next level. I wanted to get to the next You're level. You're always using the TV. I haven't watched it for ages. I'll play it later. I'll play it later. Okay. Well, now you have to rewrite the conversation from exercise 9. So, Sonia said, lo que dijo Sonia, eh? Okay. I want to get to the next level. Está en presente. Entonces, ¿qué dijo Sonia? Que quería that she wanted to get to the next level. Jack. Yes. She was always said that he was always using the TV and that she hadn't watched it for ages. Watch it. Five. Jack said that. Él dijo, I will play it later. Entonces, yo tengo que reportar lo que dijo. Jack said that. Will pasa good. But he would play it later. Okay? Good. Let's go to the next page. Okay. So, um, how do you think? Uh, Jack, bueno, el último, el, el writing que tenemos va a ser de 30 palabras. Sí, explico porque está en la página 133. Y dice así. Write a message to put in a bottle, in the sea. Include information about how, who you are, and why you are writing the message. Yes? You are lost at the sea, you are stuck on a desert island, you are doing an experiment. Okay, 30 palabras. Vas a poner ese mensaje en una botella. Yes? Y fíjate cuándo va a llegar, a quién va a llegar. Yes? Do you think, it, it, do you understand the activity? So you have to write a message. You have to say who you are. I am Ruth. I am writing this message because I am lost at the sea. Uh, I don't have anything to eat, so uh, I need help. Yes, I am drinking uh, coconut water and eating some bananas I find uh, I found in this island. Yes, uh, I want to survive, but I need your help. Yes, 30 palabras. Yes, is it clear? Good. Well, eso es el homework. Um, let's go to um, another projection I have. Yes, okay, we prepare the next listening. Track A. But first of all, um, I want you to tell me, tell me, how do you communicate? And how did people communicate in the past? See? Yes, okay. So I want you to tell me personal with family and friend or public with lots of people. Yes, okay. So we have different uh, means of communication. Yes. Ah, okay. I tell you. The same chart uh, uh, I wrote, yes, I will send you the photo pizarra, yes, but this chart on page 176, the pongo aquí, la pizarra, yes, okay, uh, page 176, grammar, 
grammar chart. No está tan completo como el que te hice yo, pero está mirable también. ¿Yes? You have report speech, you have the changes. Yes, I want you to highlight them. Yes, they use it. Well, I, I love you. He said he loved me. We live here. They say they lived here. I will see you tomorrow. He said he would see me the next day. Ahí tenés los cambios cuando tenemos Tol Simona. Yes, I say that. Yes, okay, página 176. Well, means of communication. Yes, okay, so we communicate uh, through the telephone. Yes. Okay, we use the telephone to communicate. Oops. So we use the phone, yes, a card, yes, in the past we used to send cards, yes, for birthday, when you were in love, yes, okay, we use the newspaper too, yes, to communicate, yes, okay, so people used to use the newspaper to communicate, a note, yes, can you see the note? You stick a note on the fridge, yes? That is another way of communicating, yes? Okay, another way of communication. Uh, a radio program, yes? Okay. A message, an email, yes? Okay. A letter from the past, yes? Okay, people used to communicate using letters. Nowadays, we have uh, Facebook. Yes. Okay. So, we have many ways of communication. Yes. Okay. So, I want you to highlight all of them on page 132. Yes. And we're going to do exercises one and two. Yes. So, now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Okay. Good. One, personal. With family and friends, a letter or a card, a phone conversation, a sticky note, the one I love you, take care, on a fridge, a text message, a WhatsApp message, public with lots of people, an advert, the newspaper, a presentation, a radio program. Yes, okay, both categories, uh, an email and a Facebook page. Okay, is it clear? Number two, 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5, Facebook or WhatsApp, yes? And other sites that are allowed you, that allow you to upload photos, yes? Uh, six, an advert, yes, okay? To introduce an uh, advertised product, a product, yes, or a new product, yes. Uh, also, a newspaper and a radio program may include an article or an item about a new product, yes, okay. So, we are going to go there, yes, who do you think wrote this message? Because we are going to, um, you have a message in the bottle, yes, in a bottle, and who do you think wrote this message, yes, okay, a woman, Fishy captain finds 100 years old message in a bottle at sea. Oh my God. Yes, 100 year old message bottle in the sea. Okay, so we are going to listen and you're going to do exercise four and five with the same listening. Okay, right. 
89. Unit 11B. Last week, the captain of a Scottish fishing boat pulled an old bottle out of the sea in one of his fishing nets. He told news reporters that he had been very curious when he'd seen the message inside. However, the message was a bit disappointing. It wasn't a love letter or a message from someone lost at sea. Instead, the writer said the message needed to be returned to an address. In fact, the bottle was part of a scientific experiment which had begun 98 years before, wow. when scientists threw 1,900 bottles into the sea in 1,000 and how many? Scientists threw 1,900 bottles in 1,900 bottles in the sea into the sea in order to find out more about the movement of the oceans. Yes, in order to find out uh, in, in order to know more about the movement of the ocean. Okay, it was an experiment. It took nearly 100 years for someone to find this bottle. It took over 100 years for a person to find one of the bottles. Yes? So, do you, do you imagine, do you, do you believe how the, the ocean moves? Yes? How quickly it moves? Yes? Okay? So, it's the oldest message in a bottle ever found. It's a world record. Of course, the history of messages in bottles goes back many hundreds of years. Over 2,000 years ago, the ancient Greeks put bottles in the sea. The Greek, yes, okay. They put bottles in the sea. To find out if the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean were connected. If the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean connected, were connected, and say find yes, out so if they the, did a kind of experiments with bottles, yes, the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean were connected, and sailors in World War One sent messages home by bottles. Okay, so and sailors, yes, in the war, yes, used to send message uh, messages in bottles home, yes. For example, one sailor in 1915 wrote a love letter to his wife. Ah, the that's amazing. Yes, one sailor yes, wrote a love letter in a bottle. The message said that his boat was sinking and that he loved her. Okay, so that's very romantic and, and very sad and that he because he loved her. The message said that his boat was sinking and that he loved her. Yes, yeah, so, you know, imagine receiving a bottle with a love message. Yes, the wife there waiting at home, it was war. Yes, I says, my boat, my ship is sinking. What is sinking? Not think, sinking. Se está hundiendo. The Titanic sank. Yes, uh, I love you. Yes, okay. And Oh my god, I would cry a lot. Yes, okay. Well, exercise four. Okay. One, well, we already know students, uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, four. One B, one B, two C. Yes, one B, disappointed, two C, as part of a scientific experiment. 3A. Yes. Sorry. 1B. 2C. And 3A. Exercise 5. Now, 5, 1, yes, 1C. Serious, curious, sorry, curious. 2C. As part of a scientific experiment. 3B, it's the oldest message in a bottle which uh, anyone has found at sea. 4A, to find out if the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean were connected. Yes. 5B, to say that he loved her. 
Yes, okay. Two things. My boat is sinking and I love you. Yes, okay. And the message arrived. Yes, okay. So now I are going to highlight the chart with say and tell. Yes, you have already been explained this topic and you're going to do the last thing, exercises seven and eight. And you know nine is the homework. Yes, okay, the message. Yes. Good. Uh, well, there we are. Pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Right. One, tell. Tell you. Two, set. Two, set. Three, say. Five, set. Six, tall. Exercise eight. She told him that his lunch was in the fridge. He said that he was lost in the middle of the city. Three, Maria told Joel that she had loved him for years. Four, they say that they were waiting, presente continuo, pasado continuo, for me, him, her, or us at the cafe. Dave told me that he would, will, pass a would, can call me back later. Six, the message said that I needed to phone this or that number. Okay? Bueno, ejemplo. Today, a person phoned a message in a bottle. It was written a hundred years ago by a teacher who was a staff. Ah, it was written by me on a desert island. Yes? The message said the teacher loved his or her students all but told them that he or she wanted them to write an essay for homework. Okay? <laughs> well, okay. She was in the, in the middle of the ocean, in the middle of a desert island, and she asked her students to do homework. This is a real version of teacher rules. Okay? Well, write your message. Imagine you are uh, lost, yes, at a sea or stuck on a desert island or you are doing an experiment and you have to write a message. You have to say who you are and why you are writing the message. Remember the message uh, the sailor wrote to his wife? Two things. I'm the sailor. I'm Mario. Yes, Gauna or Mario Smith. Yes, my uh, ship is sinking. I love you. So he said who he was and why he wrote the message. Okay? Mwah. Happy weekend. See you next class. Bye bye. A estudiar, por favor, el estilo indirecto, eh?